how to deposit money in Binance using a credit or debit card. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can deposit money into your Binance account, the different methods and how you can do it with a credit or debit card. So let's jump right in. Now everyone knows Binance is one of the world's leading cryptocurrency exchanges and depositing your money on Binance can be so easy. You can directly purchase crypto or directly purchase fiat currency on Binance via your card. So first you need to understand the basic differences when you are depositing money because you have to choose if you want to deposit fiat or if you want to deposit your um, direct cryptocurrency assets. So starting off, if we head on over to our Binance account, you want to go into your profile and you want to ensure that your profile is actually verified because if you do not have a verified profile, then you are not actually able to use Binance to its fullest capabilities. So to proceed, we are going to ensure that our verification is complete. Then if you directly click on deposit, you have two options, P2P trading and then depositing crypto. But we want to send or deposit money into our Binance account via a credit or debit card. Well, don't worry, these are not your only two options. When you're trying to fund your account, you can go into your account or your wallet by clicking on the top right here and go into overview. In this, you can click on your spot wallet. And once you click on your spot wallet over here, you can click on deposit over here, which is again going to yield the same results. However, if you close this up and you go into your Binance homepage, click on buy crypto on the top left, then you can see your buying and selling option. If you click on deposit fiat over here, you can see it's going to give you P2P Express. But if you go into their simple buy and sell feature, then you will see that you can go ahead and purchase crypto via Apple Pay, MasterCard, or your Visa card. Simply enter the dollar amount worth of US cryptocurrency or of money that you want to deposit. Let's say it's $15 and I can choose to buy USDT and USDT and USDC are fiat currencies, which basically means they are the crypto version of your dollar. So these are backed by the dollar and their prices are just honestly the almost the equivalent of a dollar. So you can purchase USDC or USDT, or if you want to directly, instead of depositing money into Binance, you want to deposit crypto, then you can select any crypto token. You can search for the token over here. Once you do that, you can choose your payment method and you guys can see it is recommending Visa slash MasterCard and you can select that and proceed. Or if you want, you can even proceed with Apple Pay. I'm going to go with USDT. Then you're going to click on add new card, enter your card information and then click on continue. Once you click on continue, you can just proceed with your payment as you regularly would. And you have now deposited money into your Binance account via your credit or debit card. It just needs to be Visa, MasterCard, or Apple Pay. But if your location is different, you might also have other options available other than Visa and MasterCard. So they also do, I'm pretty sure they do take American Express in the US as well. Now, if you are looking to fund your account in other ways, you can go into your overview. And depending on what type of account you want to fund, you can go into your spot account or your futures account. Your spot account and your futures account are two different types of account. So do keep that in mind as well. But you can choose whichever wallet you want. You can click on fund or you can click on swap or transfer in your futures account and transfer your funds from your spot account to your futures account. Once we've actually deposited money into our Binance account, we can proceed with trading this. Now, not only can you buy crypto directly from Binance, but you can even do a weekly interval. So if you want, you can proceed with their recurring buy feature over here and choose to recurringly buy a certain cryptocurrency token your card at a certain interval over and over again. You might say, 
hey, what's the purpose of that? Well, if you're looking for investments, then this might be a great way for you to build up some a reasonable or a substantial balance in a token and then you can choose to trade that token ideally it's better to directly trade instead of setting up recurring buy however if you find that purchasing crypto or purchasing from your de debit or credit card is too expensive you can go into trade and go into p2p p2p transfers give you a better price than the market average you can select your payment method, so you can actually select any type of payment method you prefer and then search for the available order limit and then you can search for the price and the tokens that you're looking to purchase. And you can purchase Fiat via this method as well. Once we've done that, we can go into our trading options and get started with cryptocurrency tradings including trading in the spot market, futures market, using trading bots, leverage, and investing features. Simply head on over to trade and go into spot to access the spot market. On your left, you will see on the top left, you have your token pair that is selected. And then you will see the current order book, as well as the 24 hour change, highs, lows, and other statistics. Then on the right, you have other types of token pairs that you can explore. So I want to go with Ethereum and I'm just going to open up Ethereum over here and this is the chart for Ethereum. And once I do that, this is, you know, the current pricing. Now, if I scroll down, I can see market trades as well as my own purchasing or selling option. So you can get started with purchasing and selling cryptocurrency with multiple features, including market orders, limit orders, take profit, stop losses, cross isolated and grid orders. And then at the bottom, you will see any of your open orders. Now, if you want to go ahead and use leverage, you can go into trading and you can go into your trading futures. Futures trading allows you to leverage money that you do not have by predicting the price of a token. You're not actually purchasing or selling anything. You're just predicting where the price will go. And if your prediction is correct, you will receive your money. However, you should keep in mind that when you're doing futures trading, that futures trading has leverage and leverage can be very risky and has a higher chance of liquidation. You also have trading bots, which you can copy as well as investment tools on Binance, which can help you in investing your money in Binance. You can go into their simple earn, which allows you to earn passive income as well as their advanced earn and advanced investment strategies, which include copy investments as well. You can see you have flexible and locked type of APRs and the APRs are going to vary. Usually for locked, they are higher and you can invest in these as well to provide liquidation to the platform and to have your own assets grow and bring you a profit. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.